Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know you're part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we'd love to have you over here. Just hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are already subscribed but not getting my notification, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you why I actually went with this planner. But if you're just here to see the unboxing of this planner and sticker books, let's start off with that because I know how I am when I'm just trying to see what's going on. So today, you guys, I am so excited because I have a collaboration with Clever Fox. If you guys know, I don't really have a lot of collaborations. And so when I do with such a nice quality company, I get really excited and also I have a 10% off code. It will be linked down below is JTWW, like Journey to Wisdom and Well 10, JTWW10. I'll leave it on the screen as well as be linked down below with it. Editing Tara here. Just wanted you to know there is a sale going on at the time that you see this today. Check it out. The link you click to get to the website and all the products we're going to cover. So let's get right into the collaboration. Thank you so much, Clever Fox, for, um, we're not, it's not a sponsorship. No one's paying me, but for collaborating with me on this video. So there are a few, there are three sticker books. This one they sent me, this one they sent me, and this one my friend Lisa sent me. And I'll tell you about how I happenstance upon them at the end of the video, okay? So this came in a plastic cover and I took it off just to get things rolling. And I really can tell you the quality of this box is so nice. It doesn't make any sense. Like you can definitely reuse this box for gift giving. You can reuse this box just for storage. If you're a, Kamar, if you're a KonMari girly, you can definitely use this for like organization in drawers. You can use the top and the bottom. So what I really like about it is that the fox on this comes in the color of the binder. Now they have this binder in multiple colors and I'm not sure if each of the foxes come in the color of the binder, but this one did come in this beautiful periwinkle blue, the color that I requested which was periwinkle blue. You guys, I thought this color was so pretty, especially with the upcoming winter season. Come on, that not that giving frozen? Isn't that giving icy, beautiful blues? And on top of that, it's giving pastel, so it works spring, summer, fall, all of it, all of it. So this is the Clever Flox Weekly Planner Binder. It is an undated ring bound planner undated you guys so that means you can use this at any time you can use it at any time of the year you can skip a month you can be inconsistent which is not what we're trying to do here but if you wanted to start this year you could if you wanted to start next year if you stop using it and you want to come back to it you can do that because it's undated which is great um, it's a full year planner you guys don't know how hard it is to find a full year planner with inserts at this price point it is under currently under $35. And that's not with the 10%. Now the date that I'm recording this, I can't, you know, promise you pricing. But it's a full year planner, long-term goals, quarterly goals, monthly planner, monthly review, weekly planning, habit trackers, self-reflection. This planner should be helping you have take control, setting goals, focusing, staying organized, being productive, and being successful. Y'all know we love that success. And this is a medium planner. It's a seven by 10. I also really loved the size of this planner because I feel like it's a good grab and go. It doesn't, it has all the pages in it now, which is not how I'm going to use it. But even to show you guys purse that I would bring around in the winter time. Okay, this is just an Ancline purse someone gave to me for like a, a Christmas gift or something, right? This fits right down in there. Boom. And you're done. And you're done. And that's not the whole purse. Like there's more over here. So if you have a tote or a tote bag or a bigger size purse, you should be able to just drop it in your bag and go. So that was also amazing. It does come with a Clever, Clever Fox warranty card. You get no hassle refunds. Let's keep going. It also has um, Clever Fox quick start guide telling you what each section means. We're not going to go over that. We'll look at the sections, but notes and memos. I will be using the planner, so you guys will see how I use it going forward. So let's take a look at it. I'm so excited. 
So I'm just going to slip this off. Okay, so you can see a whole look at it. As you can see, it's got that kind of pebbled look. It's very soft. It's a vegan leather. It has the snap reinforced closure, which I really love. I don't mind a magnetic closure, but I really like when they snap close. I feel like it stays closed longer. Let's take a look at the inside. Look how pretty this is. So you have wallet pockets if you want to bring this and keep your credit cards, IDs, and things in there. You have another pocket. You have a big pocket back here. You also have a zip pocket, you guys. Like So you could drop things you don't want people to see down deep in there or something larger in there, receipts, things that would make more of a mess, like if you're budgeting or something like that. Ah, and then it... Only thing I don't see is it could have had a pen loop. I don't see a pen loop. Clever Fox or the pen loop at. <laughs> but the back has another pocket. And I feel like if you wanted to walk around with some of your stickers, you could probably put your stickers in the back here. Yeah, I don't think you'd walk with all of them, but they would fit. Okay, and then these are all the sheets that you get. That's a lot of sheets. I was concerned, I'm going to be honest, with the ring size. Because the ring size to me is a tad bit smaller than the, all the rest that I saw. However, because I'm not going to carry all 12 months in it, I'm not worried about that at all. I love how flat this actually sits. If you can tell, it sits very flat. And so let's get into it. So I love that it comes with a cover page. Come on, clear cover page. And so it has the Clever Fox Planner. If you found this, please return to the name, phone number, email, social, and a reward if you're giving one. Okay. And then the first sheet on the back says, what is the vision for the life I want? And it gets aligned pages. Love that. I love lined pages. Um, Cause I am not the best handwriting person. So having lines keeps me straight. What is my life's purpose and what is my mission? So as you can see, this is a very goal-based focus planner that's going to have you prompt on questions that's going to try and get you get your life in order. The only other thing I'm not aware of, I believe this is an A5 size planner, but um, I don't know if other A5 sizes fit in it, which I will be purchasing something from Etsy or wherever to see if those match up as well. So this next page is my vision board. The next page is my vision board. So you have two pages for vision boards and they're blank. So that's really nice. I'm going to attempt to print my vision board on here, or you can um, write out your vision board, or you can uh, tape down or glue down pictures for your vision board. Very nice. And then what am I passionate about? What brings me joy in life? Skills to learn, habits to adopt this year. I am grateful for, I love that. And then you also have a section for your affirmations. These pages, have you can tell they're brand new, ain't been touched. Also mention the quality is 120 GSM paper. It feels good. Like it doesn't feel extra. It's not like resume paper but it does feel good. It's supposed to be no bleed paper. We'll do a test. <laughs> and then my goals is, I love the way they break this goals out. I took a glance at it online, of course, and it said life areas. And you, they want you to choose, they give you three lines on each thing. So you can either write a whole bunch in each one, or you can just three things to specific on that goal. But your top goals in the areas of health and fitness, business and career, finance, personal development, relationship and romance, family and friends, fun recreation and spiritual. I love that they included spiritual. And I love that. I think sometimes we make goals. We don't think about all the areas of our lives. And then they give you quarterly goals, which I love. So my three month goal, and then you choose goal one, goal two, goal three, why and why and why you want it. And then a reward for when you achieve it love that and then you have a section over here called my mind map where you map out the goals that you set so you're not just saying you're going to do something you're going to mind map how you're going to get it done i mean this is a very very thoughtful and functional planner like i'm i'm really looking forward to it so this i guess that was first quarter this is second quarter in the mind map third quarter in the mind map 
and then fourth quarter and the mind map. And then we get into our first monthly spread because it is undated. You'd have to put your own month. The notes, you have a note section. I love that. You have a Sunday start. So if you love your Sunday start, this is for you. Um, and then you just put a date. They have little circles and you put dates in the circles wherever you're starting. Then they have monthly goals. So that was something that I saw a lot of my friends doing, doing monthly goals and being able to reflect on them at the end of the month. I was like, I want to be able to do that. I want to write them somewhere so I remember. So they have a monthly goal section, work-life balance goals. So again, they pick, they remind you of the different goals that you chose. So you can remind you the month at each month how you're handling that. And then we have a monthly review, y'all. Like they, when I tell you, they're not playing out here. Like you are going to get your goals hit if you're following along. So what were the biggest wins for the month? What were the biggest lessons learned, insights gained? Which areas of your life were you lacking? And why there's even a little wheel here where you can like give yourself a score. <laughs> it's so amazing. And then monthly review again continues, what tasks were not accomplished and why? How do I feel about my progress? Am I looking forward to, I am looking forward to things I will do to make myself happy next month and how I'll improve next month. Very, very good questions. And then it just goes to another month. So that's how the monthlies go. The way they set this up is that all the monthly um, calendars, monthly reviews are in the front. For me though, I'm going to separate them out and I'm only gonna keep a quarter in at a time. I want a quarter goal section, a monthly, a couple weeks behind it and that's it. And then that way it's not so stuffed and then these the size of the rings don't matter to me. So now we get to what the weekly looks like. And the weekly is the month in the year. You can choose your month in the year and you put the sticker up there that represents or you write it out and you write it or you just write next to it. And then you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday like this. There's not that much room to write, but I think I'll be OK. Probably going to do like a split design where I do a design bullet, 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 bullet like that bullet. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense like bullet points so I can fit a few things on each line. Um, but I do like it. I'm actually going to attempt to see if I can decorate it because it's such a small size. We'll see. And then I do also like this week's main goals on this page. Sometimes depending on the week, it'll be the back and then the front. But this time here is this page over here and then this over here. But the main week goal and what reward. I love a reward. I love that they give you a reward for everything you achieve in this book. This week's priorities, personal to-do list, habit trackers. So I love that they give you habit trackers for every day of the week and then you'd put what you want to track. So if you're tracking your water intake, your no spend days, if we're budgeters out here, saving money, like um, whatever, exercising, if you write what you're tracking on this line. I do find this line to be a tad bit small. So I'm probably going to have to abbreviate, but I love that I can just color in as I go. And then they give you a nice little dot grid. So if you are into decorating, this is probably your area or you can make it whatever else you want that you don't see already on the pages. And then you also have a section for this week's win and how I'll improve next week. I love how reflective this planner seems to be. Like if you're really doing it, you're really going to like think about what you're doing, what you're not doing. So the rest of these, there's probably 52 of these, which are the rest of the weeks of the year. And this is not the way I'm setting mine up. I'll come back with how I plan on setting mine up. And that, like, this is literally the whole thing. So you get all the weeks of the year. Then on the last one, you get some dot grid pages. So just one, two, it's double-sided, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 10. 10, 10 on this last page is blank. And then they have another clear protective cover page, which I really like. So while we're here, let's go ahead and make sure this opens. And I love that they're rings, so you can take them out and work on them so you don't have to keep them together or try to like finagle to um, work with it. You could just take your pages out and also I'll be snipping mine so that I could just drop them in like they do in Happy Planner <laughs> pages because I love that about Happy Planner. So let's do quickly a um, pen test 
just to test the paper quality and see how what we're working with. Okay, so I just wanted to bring you in so we can see. These are um, very popular midliners. Almost everybody in like the planning community knows about midliners, so I figured we'd start with this. This is a darker color, so I really wanted to test with this. Um, let's go. Oh, it kind of matches the, the actual binder. Ah, I know we found our pin. <laughs> okay. And then this one's a lighter one of the midliners. These midliners I like because they have a bold side and a fine side. So you have the thicker side and then you have the thinner side, which I think outputs about the same amount. No, that actually is a tad bit darker. Okay, so that's the highlighter. Oh, and here's like a medium. That's kind of light too. Okay, and here we have our medium Z grip zebra pen. I don't know how many points it is, but let's give it a try. It's not like very inky so that's why i want to use it because i think it'll give us more of just not anything that should bleed through <laughs> and then we will do this one which is a gel pen uh y'all can't see that it's a sharpie s gel pen in a point 0 0.7 i love this pen but it will smear if you don't let it dry and it, I feel like it will go through if it possibly. And that is in blue. So those are our, what I'm testing with. I don't think this paper will withstand like Sharpie Sharpie, but let's see what it looks like on the other side. And actually let's go ahead and write through one of these. Okay, so this is what it is on one side. Oh, very good very good you don't see anything on the other side so this is like i was telling y'all this is a really good paper y'all see it now you don't <laughs> now you see it now you don't so great pen test that did well that did well if you're using like regular gel pens or midliners your paper should be fine okay guys i am so so excited to have shared that with you so excited so Hope you liked everything you saw there. Um, I just want to give you a quick reason why I went with that. At first, I really wanted to support a Black-owned business, which was cloth and paper. But cloth and paper is a bit more expensive for me. The quality is there and the quality is great. But for what I was looking for to just dip my little toes into the A5 budget binder or binder scene, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, dislike it, and then have spent a lot of money. And then there were like Erin Condren ones, which were like $80, $90. Then there were ones that were like on Amazon that were cheaper, but none of them came with all the pages for the whole year and the binder. At least I didn't find them. If you know one, let me know. So that binder right now, as I speak today, is under $35, which came with everything minus the sticker packs. And I was, I was just like, it's a win-win. Thank you, Lisa, for helping me find it. And um, there is a code, like I said, for 10% off. It's JTWW10 if you're interested in picking you up one. But I think from doing it, looking at it finally, going through it, I think it is going to work for me. I love the quality. I'm so excited to add different sections in. I'm hoping that the A5 paper in like Etsy stores or cloth and paper, because I would like to still support those businesses, just maybe not the binder, maybe just um, inserts and create like meal plan sections and things like that. So I hope you do join me as I like customize that binder for myself. For my budgeters, y'all, I'm so happy we have the 10%. And for my budgeters, it's one of the best deals I've found. So if you've been looking for A5 or to get into it for planning to get your life organized, I so highly suggest it right now. Like we're going to be going through this together. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that, y'all. And now I have two, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing because my friend Lisa gave me one and now I have another one. So maybe there will be a giveaway. If you would be interested in a giveaway for that A5 that we just reviewed, let me know. Let me know down below. And I have two of these 
books now so you'd win this book with it let me know down in the comments hopefully you've made it this far but as far as my research has done it's one of the best deal if you're a beginner and you're just trying this out for to be like to start to start off with and see if it's your thing because I will be saving for like a leather covered one or something like that in the future um, if I do stick with this planning A5 system. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. You guys have been real troopers and making it through to the end of the videos. If you made it through to the end of this video, can you add a little piggy, like, for saving and budgeting? Add a little piggy or a little planner. Either one of those will suffice. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember, it's faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but what? Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, 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 